Astronomers may have finally figured out where interstellar objects visitors from other star systems are coming from, and the answer points straight toward the constellation Hercules. In 2014, a U.S. military satellite detected something unusual. A meter-sized object entered Earth's atmosphere over Papua New Guinea and exploded. Its speed was far too high for a normal asteroid hinting that it came from outside the solar system. After the first confirmed interstellar object, Aumuamua, was discovered in 2017, scientists re-examined older data and the 2014 event suddenly looked incredibly familiar, fast, strange, and possibly from another star. An expedition later recovered tiny metallic spherules from the ocean floor, though their origin remains debated. Now a new study on Arxiv proposes that most interstellar objects share predictable motion patterns. Because most stars in our galaxy are red dwarfs, the team assumed that many interstellar objects escape from there. Systems with velocities similar to those stars. The sun, dragging the entire solar system with it, travels around the Milky Way. From Earth's perspective, we're moving in the direction of the Hercules constellation. So just like a car driving into the wind, the solar system experiences a headwind of interstellar material. Most interstellar objects should appear to come from Hercules. You might think they hit the northern hemisphere more often, but the most likely impact zone is actually the equator. Because Earth's rotation gives equatorial regions the widest sweep through space, increasing the chance of a collision. Even the season matters. During fall and winter, in the northern hemisphere, Earth moves away from Hercules, which lets the sun's gravity capture more slumovin interstellar objects. In summer, we move toward Hercules, making impacts faster but less easily captured. Interstellar objects are still Ror. Maybe we just haven. T learned how to recognize them yet, but with new models and better surveys, we may soon discover that Earth has been visited far more often than we ever imagined.